We have the Mora knife, stainless, a carbon steel, Mora Pro robust. Kepa Pekka PK2. Cold steel Recon Tanto Sun My Steel, VG10. Hulta Force, Craftsman, I think Carbon. Opinel number 7. German T2, cold steel, that's the leather neck tanto with German T2. <coughs> Spyderco. For code 4, CPM S35 VN. That's the shitty CVV. Yep. CVV, CVV. SKC with SK5 steel. Netforce. I think we all know what's going to happen now. Range Boss, cold steel. This is a different kind of steel, Range Boss. I'm not sure now what. Something with four. That's a cold steel drop for Shanta, which survived my testing. It's 5 2 one zero zero. Net force knife. That's the Travas Grama. Carbon steel. This will rust like fuck, I think. Kudos, cold steel. Hulta force heavy duty knife. This is carbon steel. This survived my test and it's already rusty. I did nothing. There were, I did nothing with this knife and it's already rusty. Crazy. So this will, huh? That's a part of the OPNL. That's aus A steel, cold steel, the fin wolf. Hunter boil. This is also T2 steel, T2 steel from Netfoss. That's the Extrema Ratio with the Pöker Steel. The Pöker Steel, it's already rusty. The SRK Sun Mai VG10. Netforce Blade. And a Mora Neef, that's the Companion Heavy Duty. And this is stainless steel. Stainless steel, more companion heavy duty. Gonna pack everything now. I'm a fucking Iron Man. So the second punch of knives will be released inside the water. Bye bye. See you on Monday. So the second bunch of knives, no oil on it, absolutely nothing. I destroyed them two days ago and yesterday, so there were absolutely no oil on the second bunch. Second batch of knives. Let's see who is inside. Looks like no fish. No, no fish. These knives were about two days inside the water and we have some rust. Here's the Hulta Force heavy duty. Some rust or some dirt. Travas Krama. It changed color but there's no serious rusting from the Skrama. BK2. It's changed the color and there's a little bit rust, just a bit. Cold steel, cold four, uh, nothing. Net force, nothing. No rust, anything. Ah. That's the Hunter Boil, Hunter Boil Net Force D2. 
D2 steel, nothing. More robust, the more robust change the color, it starts to change. Because it's carbon steel. Extrema ratio, the Pöcker steel has some spots, but not, nothing serious. Spyraco, Spyraco has no rust. It's the Mora, uh, the Mora Companion heavy duty. This is stainless steel, and it's indeed stainless. There is a range boss, range boss from cold steel. It has, it has no rust, no rust at all. The range boss, big net force knife. This must be stainless. Also, no rust, nothing. That's a leather neck from cold steel. It's D2 steel. <laughs> and there's a little bit rust on the plate. You can see a little bit rust. Recon Tanto in San Mai. San Mai has nothing. Nothing. Netforce knife. I think it's also is also stainless steel. It has nothing. Yeah, the drop force chanter. We have rust at the drop force chanter. Yeah, there's rust at the drop forged. Open L7. Nothing. SRK with VG10. Like nothing. Fin wolf from cold steel. <laughs> nothing. That's part of the CVV knife. Nothing. That's the CVV. Yeah. Then the SRK with SK5 steel, we have rust for sure. The SK5 is rusting. Hulter Force, stainless steel, nothing. Kudos, the cheapest knife from cold steel. Break. Nothing. All right, let's go. Second patch, out of the water, 30 minutes, and the rust is coming. The rust is visible now in the sun, so it goes pretty quickly. Second patch, this was two days in the water, 24 hours now out of the water. More than if, nothing, that's stainless steel. Yeah, as expected, the rava skrama rusts as hell. Looks like a brown shark. Here we have the CVV. It's Chinese knife. Bullshit. Rust. Code 4. Cold steel. Nothing. Extrema ratio. The Pöcker steel. Nothing. Not too much, a little bit. But little, like nothing. That's the drop forge. Drop forge is rusty. Where the breakouts are, it's rust. What's that? Finwolf. Cold steel Finwolf. Some rust. That's a Netforce knife. Hunter boil. No rust. That's the Spyraco. Spyraco. No rust. Hulter Force carbon steel rusts like hell. K bar BK2. It's rusting. 
net force. No, I like nothing, a little bit maybe. The other Hulta force, it's nothing. Kudos, kudos, the crazy steel, nothing. SRK, VG10 steel, nothing. Maybe a little bit of the breaking points, could be. Leatherneck Tanto. Leatherneck. A little bit rust maybe. Yes, a little bit rust on the Leatherneck. The breaking points. Yes. Mora Neef Robust. Mora Pro Robust is this. Carbon steel, it's rusting. SRKC, rust. Cold steel, range boss, no rust. That's a net force blade, no rust. I think it's T2 steel. D2. VG10 steel, Recontento, no rust. Opinel 7. No rust. And that's the net force blade. Also, also no rust. Here's the second package. Two and a half days out of the water. Yesterday it was raining. Skrama, CV, Top Forge Hunter. Code 4. A little bit rust. Hulta Force BK9. Net Force is nothing. SRK, nothing. We have the Survivor. The Robust Rust. And the SRK is rusty. So, that's for the second bunch. Yeah! Four days out. That's the Mora Companion heavy duty knife. A little bit rusty. Wow! Not too much. Trava Skrama from Varosta Leka. Rusty as hell. That's the Finwool. No, that's the Code 4. The code for CPM S35 VN. No rust. Fin wolf. A little bit rust. That's the net force. No rust. Okay, extrema ratio. We have a little bit rust. Not too much. The CVV. There's no rust. No rust at the edge. Spider Co. No rust. Hulta Force Heavy Duty. One survivor. Rust as hell. Hunter Boil from Net Force. Okay. D2 steel, no rust. Another Hulta Force knife. I think Craftsman. No rust. The Legend, Becker BK2. Is now rusty, 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 the Becker. Net force, no rust. Wow. SRK, VG10 steel, no rust. Kudos. Wow. Cold steel, no rust. Leatherneck Tanto, a little bit rust maybe. 
a tiny bit at the edges. More uh, robust, a survivor, rusty. Recontento VG10. No rust. Range boss. Cold steel, no rust. SRK SK5C. SRKC, rusty. It's one Netfoss blade. Wow. Not breaking. Wow. No rust. Open nail number seven. No rust. Oh! <sighs>